since I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study in my vision, and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign, and she boring. Love the way you here on Torque Drift. So there has been a big update to the game that uh, a lot of people do not like and some people like. So we're here today to uh, get a little ins and outs on this update and uh, give you my impressions on the update thus far. First big thing for this update is of course there is new sponsors up in the mix. And uh, for new sponsors that I've noticed, we have uh, you know Bad Apple Motorsports, K&N, uh, I believe that one was already there. And then a few sponsors that we've already had before have switched up in the places. We got Forge Motorsports as a new sponsor. Clutch Kick is also another new sponsor. And uh, one that I'm very excited for right there, right underneath my sponsor, NRG Innovations. Big, big shout out to NRG Innovations. If you guys have followed the channel for a while, you know NRG Innovations does help support my and follow my channel they did uh you know give me the nice bucket racing seat that i have in my uh wheel setup as well as you know i'm using the energy innovations wheel and handbrake and stuff like that so it's really cool to see energy innovations in the game since energy innovations is a big part of my channel and it's kind of cool how energy is right there with mine now unfortunately i have gotten in contact with the devs they're looking into it why my sponsor i can't seem to get it i do it with no penalties i do it all like that but i still can't seem to get it unlocked um they said they are going to look into it as well as you know find out what they can figure out so for new sponsors i believe those are the only ones that are new except for i think this uh reinhardt racing suspension is a new one as well um if you guys know new any other ones that I've missed, please let me know down in the comment section down below. So, another few big things for this update is we now have the hub. So, the hub is pretty sweet. You have your own little uh, profile and you post things. Oh, my influence score is dropping. So, and it's pretty cool because it's a big community thing and you kind of can just post things up there about, you know, me chasing my doppelganger paint scheme almost. And, you know, you know, some chase being on the same as my lead and you know big thank you to torque Jeff for letting me be a part of this game hoping to become more part of this game as the time goes on but you know the hub is pretty cool because you can have conversations about you know videos paint tune chat you know and stuff like that and there's always people just posting up there um different people with big influence scores that are doing some big influence in the game but like it's a good place to share and uh spread tunes and stuff like that so you know it's it's a it's a big big thing you know torch drift has a big uh blown out thing about tuning and stuff like that but you know people can post about looking for help for an s15 tune and you know people can reply and you know get you know feedback from other players so this this hub is actually a very cool thing to have and uh super excited to see the hub um in the game um as well as they also have a drifting tutorial now making my my screen trip out where it teaches people how to, you know, actually play the game, which is, you know, a big thing when you're first starting it out because you want to know how to get into it. So another few things that I did notice, um, a lot of people are complaining about the tuning aspect of the game, about how the cars feel like they're a little bit on ice and skating and stuff like that. If you guys notice a uh, bit of a new, uh, new livery on the uh, E46, I do have the old livery still saved. So don't worry about that. And then as well as uh, an updated livery on the S14, rocking those Torque Drift logos as well as NRG Innovations. Like I said, they're uh, sponsored me and sponsored channels. So, you know, it's kind of cool to see them in this game as well. Um, so a lot of people are complaining about the tuning aspect. And uh, some people have made it known to me about the fact that you can't adjust track width now with the rims. Um, I'm not sure if that's actually a bug or if that's just actually how the game is set up now because you can adjust track width on, I believe, some of the body kits. I believe if you go into certain body kits, you can adjust track width. So I'm just thinking they may have gotten rid of the track width with the uh, adjustment on the rims um, as a tuning aspect. Um, Although, because otherwise I am not quite sure, um, you know, why it was there and now it's not. So that's one big thing I've noticed in the tuning aspect of it. And when it comes to cars, 
feel like they're a little bit skatey. It's not that they feel skatey. I think it's just cars that the grip levels have changed. They adjusted the physics of the tires and stuff like that from what I think. Or maybe they just adjusted the way the cars handle, which I feel they they uh, they adjust it and the cars do handle pretty well. If as long as you got a little fine tuned tweaks on your setup and what I found uh, what I found help is um, making the the rear a little bit softer, making the suspension a little bit softer so it bites bites more when the car is rotation and stuff like that. I found that helps me um, helps me with grip levels. So that's you know one of the things that I found help. Another big thing is we did get the MX-5 back. Um, definitely going to be buying this here soon and doing a full build on the MX-5 because I do miss the MX-5. Probably can throw a rotary in that thing for sure. Have a rotary to MX-5 even though I do have Mad Mike's MX-5 which means I don't really need to build another one but I'm going to anyways. As well as they dropped in some new pro cars. Um, definitely um, the Shelby or the Mustang the pro uh, Mustang is uh, a very very nice looking car definitely want to get my hands on this car and get behind the wheel as well as that turn 14 distribution Falcon tires Enzo oil Dayoshihara BRZ V8 twin turbo definitely an amazing car in FD definitely I'm gonna to want to get my hands behind the wheel of this car um, and uh, see how this thing rocks so you know, with this hat being in the game now, it was teased by the the little bit of the um, you know the cover arts of seeing it, and I kind of knew it was coming in, and this just solidified it coming in. So it's right here. Definitely an amazing looking car. Definitely gonna probably pick this car up as well as that Mustang, and see how uh, how this thing goes. So we're gonna go into uh, the game, and we're gonna go into Skyline, and we're gonna take our E46 out and uh, show. So I loosened up the suspension a little bit. Otherwise, the tune on the car is pretty much the same, and uh, give it a little run and see how she feels. So, because I personally feel like um, the handling of the game is actually um, not that much different. It's a little bit different, but it's not super, super crazy different. So, you know, there is a little bit of adjustment to get used to, but once you get used to it, um, the game feels really good. It's it's felt good from the beginning, and it still feels good now. Um, if you notice, I'm not running the Nexon tires on this car just because of power. I've decided to run a different grip level tire. That's just personal preference. But, I mean, people are saying the car feels like it's on ice. I mean, I'm not running even a pro angle kit in this car, and I seem to be uh, seem to be pretty good on it. Little wall taps here and there, getting off the gas, feathering the gas and the handbrake, and it works for me. So, you know, it's just got a really uh, nice tuned 350Z ripping out of our... Uh, out of our house here or 370 so like the grip has changed a little bit but it hasn't changed to the point where it's unplayable I know a lot of people are saying the update killed the game it's unplayable it's not that it's unplayable you just got to fine-tune your suspension a little bit and the thing is with the 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 lack of um, the ability to change your track width may have changed the characteristic handling of your car so you may have to adjust your suspension a little bit hey that guy's got the same name as me adjust your suspension a little bit to compensate for that and you know people have said oh the game's too twitchy well I mean it's it's twitchy because of the way the car set up it's not twitchy because of just you know how the physics are it's, it's the settings of the car and I mean the C46 all I did was loosen the suspension up and change the tires and uh, if you guys have followed the channel before you know this E46 was like my go-to car and I'm you know able to throw down solid lead runs uh, so it's not that the game is unplayable now it's just you gotta tweak the cars a little bit so that's why the hub is a very good thing to have in the game because you can go on there talk about tuning settings talk about you know what other people are running in tuning aspect and how they're tuning their car and tweaking their car and you know that makes a whole heck of a lot of difference in being able to talk to other people in the community so definitely looking forward to uh, getting some lot live tandem metal like I stopped a lot sooner than I thought some live tandem battles this week so if you guys want to be a part of some live tandem battles this week make sure you guys follow my Instagram to find out when that's going to be I'm going to be doing the live tandem battles here on Torque Drift I'm going to be rocking probably by E46 a bad Mike's car or uh, my S14 this is a very bad chase run on my part 
but another big thing that they changed is I will show after this they did add a lot of painting options so a lot of people's liveries are gonna get even more primo because we have more ability to add different stuff to cars now so we're gonna pop into the paint shop real quick show showcase that I, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already have found this stuff but you know my take on this update is it was a very good update it was extremely cool to get some of the things that they added into this into the game and it's definitely a uh, definitely a step up and they can only continue to step up from here every update they've made has improved the game dramatically and I know they're working on oh I got some new likes what do we got new likes on see that's cool you get notifications we got a like from uh, somebody else up here from my uh, thank you to Torque Drift with my sponsorship in there and uh, so and the thing is you can just go through the hub back and forth it doesn't you know mess with you a little bit so like I said I do have my original livery and I do have the, uh, the livery I'm currently working on so like I said they did add country flags so now people can represent their countries and where they're from and put them all on the top of the car on the roof I know a lot of people are putting them on the roof making their roof the color of their state or country and uh, you know they're just taking it and throwing it up uh, throwing it up there you know to fly their color which is it's a cool thing to see and you know it's definitely a very diverse community out here from all corners of the globe uh, I know that for a fact from you know the subscribers to the channel you guys are from all over the corners of the globe and I can't thank you guys enough for following and coming back so we do have some new uh, new detail different t little uh, tidbits of uh, paint that we can now add on here some tears some lines some graphics and stuff like that which is pretty awesome and then of course we have some new shapes on the back end we got some arrows and some triangles and stuff but all of these can go into making some amazing liveries and I'm, I'm super excited to see some of the liveries that you guys are going to bring out to the live stream because uh every time i uh, do a live stream with live tain and battles it's always so cool to see the liveries that you guys are making as well as now we have text so people will be able to either customize with text and names and stuff like that as well as there's lettering and numbering now i did remember if you remember an old stream i remember talking about how we should get some numbers and letters into the game and well here they are they are listening guys torque drift is definitely listening to what the community is saying to make this game better it's a community-based game i would say that they're they're listening and they're trying to make the game the best so the update personal feelings it was a good update definitely uh definitely an amazing job by the torque drift devs to uh get this game up and there's what i've been waiting for i've been waiting for this pro kit for the c46 forever so we're gonna throw the pro kit on you know what we're just gonna instant buy it just because you know i want to see what the difference of how the car feels with the pro kit so we're gonna go with the pro kit we're gonna increase our angle and uh i really don't think i need that much camber so we're gonna dial back the camber a little bit we're gonna leave the caster there and we're gonna go make sure the pro kits on the rear and it is and I think we're going to dial in a little bit of camber and we're gonna go rip this car and see how this car feels so because I felt good on the uh, import um, angle kit so I'm wondering um, if the twitchiness comes from like the pro kit being super high angle so we're gonna give this a shot we're gonna rip it a skyline see how we do so like I said a lot of big things in this update new paint new numbers lettering and stuff like that in the paint shop so livery games is gonna go higher some new sponsors in the mix as well as some new cars <coughs> pardon me had to have a sip of water there cuz uh, uh mouth was getting dry for a second so like I said, personal opinion on this. A lot of cool things coming on the uh, in this update, and I can't wait to see what these guys have coming out next. So big thank you to them. I have contacted them about trying to figure out what uh, what's going on with like some of the sponsorship glitches and stuff like that. So they're definitely looking into that. So the car feels uh, really good with this pro kit. It doesn't throw it too much angle. I didn't hit the brakes there. So. I don't think the twitchiness is coming from the pro kits. I think it just has to do with the settings of the car. So it's just more of a finite tuning of the car and the suspension setup to get the car to handle 
even better or back to how it handled before. Um, so my advice, just mess with the tuning or go on the hub and, um, you know, see what other people are rocking on tunes. I found that it works for me, just loosening it up a little bit. Um, oh, that was another sponsor I just see on this man's door, Maximum Driftcast. That's also another sponsor that made it into the game. So, but like I said, go check out the hub, you know, check out what people are rocking on their tuning set aspects to see, to maybe uh, get yourself some help and uh, maybe get your car dialed in better. Ow, this man's all over the place. We're gonna try stick on this door right here. There we go, that's, uh, that's a little bit better. We gotta get as many of those uh, tandem points as we can because uh, we need to make sure we possibly take that win. So we did take the win with our chase, 41,476, and our lead was 41,665. So, like I said, a big thank you to you guys for coming back and joining this videos. Big thank you to Torque Drift for allowing me to be part of this game and to help, you know, with these videos coming out to you guys. So, I hope you guys come to the next live stream. I've been back and forth with the game devs about possibly doing, um, maybe a live Q&A session with them. So if you guys would be interested in doing a live Q&A session with them, maybe here on the channel, you know, I can ask them questions and maybe you guys can chime in. You know, been trying to set maybe set that up with them, with the game devs and do a little interview with them. Let me know what you guys think on that. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram as well as in the hub on the Forza, or on the Forza, on the Torque Drift. Make sure you guys follow me. <coughs> Excuse me, got a little uh, dry throat going on today. Follow me on the, uh, on the, uh, Torque Drift Hub. So until next time, guys, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out.